Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Hampi Conero and Valentina Gunina. This game was played in St. Louis in 2020. Hampi Conero had white pieces and she started with knight to f3. Valentina Gunina played d5, b4, knight to f6, c4, the queen's gambit, e6, the queen's gambit declined. Knight to c3, c6, the semi-slav, e3, this is the man variation of the slav defense. Let's from b to d7, bishop to d3, d takes on c4, bishop takes on c4, b5. This is the popular main line. White to move, bishop to d3 was played. This is the most played move. Sometimes white plays bishop to e2 and bishop to b3. Bishop to d3. The bishop is the best placed on d3, aiming at h7 and supporting the pawn push. The game continued. Bishop to b7, castling a6, intending c5. e4. This is the most played move played by Kasparov, Karpov and Morozovic to name a few. c5, d5, c4, bishop to c2, queen to c7, d takes on e6, f takes on e6, and black now has three pawn islands. Knight to g5, intending to reduce the number of islands in the black camp. Queen to c6, knight to c5 is the most played move and considered to be the best by some chess experts. Back to our game. Queen to c6 was played. Queen to f3. h6. Attacking the knight. This is a tiny critical moment. What is the best square for the knight? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Humpy Conero played queen to h3. Let's take it back. If the knight goes back, then bishop to c5. And after bishop to e3, castling. And black is ok. Back to our game. Queen to h3 was played, pinning the pawn on h6 and attacking the pawn on e6. Black to move. Perhaps e5 comes to mind. Saving the pawn, what do you think? Valentina Gunina played a bit unexpected. H takes on g5. How do you call this? Is this the exchange sacrifice for the attack or maybe a blunder? What do you think? The game continued. Queen takes rook. Knight to e5. Bishop takes on g5. Knight to f7 attack in the queen. Queen to h4. Bishop to e7, rook from a to d1, black can't even cast the queen side and has no compensation for the lost exchange. Do you agree? The game continued. Queen to c5, e5, knight takes on e5, bishop takes on f6, bishop takes on f6, queen to h5 check, king to e7, white to move. There is more than one way for white to continue. Hampi Conero played bishop to e4, bishop to c6, bishop takes on c6, queen takes on c6. Rook from f to e1, lining the rook with the black king. Knight to d3, attacking the rook. Knight to d5, check. King to f8, knight takes on f6, g takes on f6 of course knight takes on e1 doesn't work because of knight to h7 check and after king to g8 rook takes knight back to our game g takes on f6 queen to h8 check king to f7 queen to h7 check king to e8 rook to e3 the rook lift knight to f4 queen to g8 check king to e7 Queen to g7 check, king to e8, rook to d4, attacking the knight, c3, white played the move and black resigned and the move is nothing special, 
just pawn takes pawn on c3. Kulina resigned. The game is lost. If she wants to save the knight and play something like knight to d5, then rook to h3, intending rook to h8. If the king moves to d8, check, queen to e8, rook takes queen, check, king takes rook, queen to g8, check, picking the rook on a8. Congratulations to Hampi Conero, who won the Ken's Cup 2020. What do you think of that tournament? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.